five learnings. I mean, the first one when I is that first advice I was given when I was coming to India from a friend who, who conducts businesses uh, down in Tamil Nadu. Say, hey, listen, in India you have to be patient. <laughs> okay. And uh, I, I say yes. But I, what I learned is mm-hmm. that you have to be patient, but you Indians are incredibly impatient. Television data, digital data, social media data, and also market research data. So uh, we are trying to understand uh, the market uh, with a lot of data. But Welcome to DigiPlus Dialogue Season 1. Spanish top division football tournament, La Liga needs no introduction. Ronaldinho, Zidane, Ronaldo, Figo, Henri, Forlan, and modern heroes like Benzema, Modric, and especially Ronaldo and Messi have made this league very popular all across the globe, including India. There are many, many people in India wearing those big players and their jerseys. They are fans, they are loyalists. Identifying India as one of the future markets, La Liga decided to make India one of the seven countries across the globe where it has its permanent office. Our guest today in DigiPlus Dialogues is Mr. Jose Antonio Cacasa. He is the Managing Director of La Liga Operations in India. Thank you, Mr. Jose, for joining us here today. Before we go deep into our discussion today, we would like to ask you, about what about your favorite places in India? Have you visited a little bit around the country? Well, I mean, it's... It's been now almost six years since I first came to India. I have no damn idea before. Um, well, yeah, I think the last, the, the, my favorite place is the last one. No, I visit. In this case, I just uh, went for Diwali to visit Kashmir, Srinagar, and that was wonderful. But if I had to point a place that really touched my, uh, my heart, I would say uh, Amritsar. Amritsar. Wow, yeah. great. Great. Do you go posting on social media when you see a great place? Yes, but more than the place, if I like to take pictures, no. Back in the yeah. day, I always travel with my my camera. Now I become lazy, so I just travel with my my phone. So if I I shoot a lot, so if I find some picture that really uh, I like it, I post it. But I am not that. Uh, I'll be honest. I am not mm-hmm. that active in 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 social media. Correct. For example, I do have, I don't have a Twitter account. Mm-hmm. Uh, Facebook, I only set as friends people who are my friends uh, that I know. In mm-hmm. the only social media that I am really active uh, is LinkedIn, but this is more professional. It's more professional content. Yeah. So I don't say, oh, I was in Kashmir, uh, mm-hmm. enjoying the beauties. Uh, that's not the kind of contents I I upload there. Correct. Correct. You know, talking about social media, you have been quoted saying that uh, from 300,000 to about 6.5 million, that's the growth that yeah. Lali social media has, impressions has had in India. What does this growth mean to you? That's what I wanted to understand. Well, uh, first, uh, we need to put this in perspective, no? And there's two perspectives. First, um, mm-hmm. when La Liga started the, the new uh, strategy for uh, international growth, Digital was uh, a key element, and in digital, social media progress. So um, it's part of our strategy to be strong in social media. And why? Because it's, a, it's the most direct way to connect to, to our fans, you know, without intermediary. So we are invested a lot. So that that's uh, the secret is that we took a lot of care in social media and invested a lot with uh, putting resources on. I mean, if you take India, uh, when we have only 300,000, it, it, it was fantastic because I, th- I think we were not even publishing in English, no? Mm-hmm. As of today, uh, I was just checking figures. In India, we have, counting only Facebook and, and Instagram, we have 7 million followers. But we have yeah. uh, at least 10 people working uh, on these. No, from Madrid, um, from the agency Indian Track that uh, workers uh, creating uh, local content. So. It's basically talk uh, to uh, in the local to, to the local fans in the language and with contents that they are more appealing uh, to them, which in the case of India is not is not that easy because for uh, there is no Indian players playing in in, in Spain, no. So uh, that's use a tool that we use in Africa and South America and even some Asian countries where their uh, their stars are playing for La Liga. So, but still we manage to create content uh, closer to the fan and 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 that's. That's the reason of the of the growth. is uh, is no miracle. It's a lot of work of a lot from a lot of people. 
Correct. An aspect that is being you know uh, deemed as very important is collection of data and knowing your consumer. And that was one of the agenda behind you setting up your office in India to understand the local market. Yeah. How is it that you are collecting consumer data? What are the various touch points that you follow? Well, also is is one of the since Mr. Tevas become chairman of La Liga, uh, mm -hmm. get market intelligence, market knowledge, and, and, and data collection is our our key points. At the end, we have several sources. Obviously, social media is one of them. A digital, we separate digital from social media. No, uh, digital we have in India, uh, uh, 1.2 million users of our different tools. No, uh, phone apps, uh, our um, uh, web page, different applications we have available to 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 the farm. So that's another source of of revenue. We do like everyone else does um, a lot of, of activations that we require. The funds to register, and uh, not just to register. Uh, we have a we we had to even work when we work in India. We had to abide through the very strict Spanish um, data protection law. So yeah. uh, it's not that uh, you give me your uh, your email. I need your email. I need your consent. You no. Know? So that's yeah. another of the ways uh, we work in developing a, a, our database of con consumers, um, customers, clients, and friends all over the world. Uh, Obviously, television data. Um, also, we uh, do a lot of market research. No, both we buy international uh, market research service of India, and also we conduct a brand tracker in India. Uh, it's La Liga on uh, our own questioning, our own research. I think mm -hmm. is three times per, per year in India. So basically, television data, digital data, social media data and also market research data. So uh, we are trying to understand uh, the market uh, with a lot of data, but mm -hmm. you know better than me how complex India is, no? So, and sometimes uh, we, uh, you can make the mistake of trying yeah. to understand the data as a one whole data for one country. And India is much more complex uh, than that, no? So it, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's not easy to, to understand and now for me if you ask me what's uh, our challenge to get data more regionalized in when, oh. when it comes to india okay and that's a unique part about india right you must not be facing the same challenge in in, in say spain or or other big markets that you are there well yes uh it, that's the complexity of india no maybe it will happen to china maybe to the us no in the us for example we have quite clear our target audience is spanish-speaking audience is where we are growing right. and and uh, but India, the complexity of India is that. So when you start working at international level, you divide uh, Asia by countries, no, by markets. So India is just yet another market. When you start digging into uh, the market and understanding the market, you realize that that's not enough. I mean, it's uh, to have, for example, whatever parameters you're trying to analyze, just uh, one figure for India. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's true, but it can be misleading because that figure won't be radi can be radically different. Let's say in UP, which is a cricket territory, than in Bengal, which is football territory. So yeah. uh, it's just an easy, cheap sample of how you, we need to go deeper into the regional understanding of our client base. And it's something that we are working also with the broadcaster too. Great. Great, fantastic, great answer, Jose. Thank you for this. Uh, one more thing I would like to know from you. You know, you have said in the past that India is your future market. Yeah. Uh, what about this market that excites you the most? Uh, for, for me, what excites me the most, if you are in a personal level, uh, I came here when La Liga didn't exist as an organization. Of course, didn't exist among the fans, no. Uh, and we didn't have no damn idea about the market. So everything that we created is a lot, uh, a work, the work of a lot of people, Indian people and people from Spain all together. You no, know? I mean, it's something that we need to rely on local talent if we want to work in India. Yes, we are a Spanish organization. We sell a product that the bottom line happens only in Spain. But if we need uh, to connect to the Indian fans, we need to have Indian talent uh, working with us. And, and that's important. And at large, I always said from the beginning that it's a very, although it's not our 
core task here. It's a really exciting moment for working in football in India. Why? Okay. Because you are shaping your football now. I mean, it was something that was there almost forgotten, no? Uh, forgotten mm -hmm. in the sense that, yeah, there the, were the great things happening in Bengal, but India qualified for the 1950 World Cup, didn't play, yeah. uh, nothing happened since, no? So, and now soccer, football is becoming a relevant sport. It's already the second sport in India. Uh, politics are minding about sport, just have the sample of the two under 17 World Cups in 2017 and just uh, one week ago. Yeah. So uh, yeah. there is a concern of how you can improve your league. There's a concern how you can improve your grassroots, which is, I, 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 I glad to listen that from the new AF president and secretary general. They understand that this is the, the foundation of everything. There's a concern of how we, you can improve the, the level of your national team. So it's really exciting to uh, be uh, a privileged witness of all of that. Mm -hmm. What is you know what is what is the way you are interacting La Liga brand with your La Liga community and and again what are the touch points you mentioned about content in various languages but apart from that what what are, what are the other activities that you are doing you know to reach for your brand to reach the community well first we need to understand who we are and what we are in India you no know? mm -hmm. uh, and we need to understand the Indian market you no know? and the Indian market basically. There's two, uh, in what refers to our positioning, there's two at large elements we had to consider. First, cricket is king. No, 85% yeah. of the audience, 85% of the investment from broadcast and, uh, and sponsorship goes to, to cricket. All the others, mm -hmm. we are fighting for the 15% remaining. Yeah. That's what India market is today. But we also uh, have data that shows how football is growing among a very interesting part of the Indian population, which is usually younger, better educated, higher rent, uh, mostly metropolitan um, people. No, and and that football is behind cricket, but but, but getting closer. So uh, that shows. Uh, it goes also to your uh, earlier question. This talks yeah. about present, no, talks more about future. Right. So you can expect that in the future, those monies that today go exclusively to, to cricket, probably, yeah. I mean, cricket will be king. Uh, I, I'm not saying that mm -hmm. we'll uh, overtake them. But uh, the, the share of the market will probably increase. Uh, football is clearly, if you consider all uh, football properties uh, in India, is clearly the second sport already on, on broadcast. Correct. So uh, how we get to the fans, once we understand all of this, well, I said before, uh, 360 approach, digital, broadcast, media. I mean, just the fact that I am talking to you is my modest contribution for getting to certain fans who watch your show. So we, um, we cannot allow ourselves to, to not to take any single opportunity we have, no matter how big or how small to uh, get closer to the to the market to the fans. Well, let's not forget fan events. No, uh, after yeah. six, uh, four years, we did again a big fan event in Mumbai two weeks ago with yeah. uh, three thousand fans attending to to El Clasico, having fun. And the number is there is relevant. I mean, what was relevant is the passion. No, that those hardcore fans of Madrid and Barca enjoying themselves, uh, leaving the match there in the biggest screen as if they were at Bernabeu. So um, that's we need mm -hmm. to work with them, no? I mean, both creating fun events for them and also uh, getting them close. I mean, let's not forget it. Today, the fans get we, uh, through digital, no? They want to have a lot of digital in impulses all the time. So we need to be uh, hyperactive, no, in these signs because, the, because the connection to the fans demands it. Okay, media rights remain, you know, the most important and the biggest chunk of media, you know, of revenues for intellectual properties and not just in India, all across the globe. But what are the other, you know, avenues for revenue that you spot in India? Well, in India, uh, commercial revenues are as important for us uh, today as, okay. uh, as, as uh, broadcast revenues. You no, know? even in terms of broadcast revenues, India for us is a small market. You know, if you compare to the big three for us, which are yeah. Middle East, Northern Africa, China, and the US, uh, India is a very small market. Okay. So, uh, but it's 
still doesn't matter is, uh, as you say, is our number one focus because media is not only the revenues that they are important. Let's not forget uh, La Liga International broadcast revenue is we're talking 800, 900 million euros per season. India is a really small part of that. But also, it's not just the money. It's our window to the fans. It's through where the fans can watch the games, can get the highlights, can get a lot of programming. So um, it's not just the money. It's uh, how good is this channel to connect to the fan. That's key too. And it's evolving. I mean... Uh, is evolving it's not just low no no you cannot talk of broadcast only correct correct thank you uh you know now this is the segment that i call the stoppage time this is basically we'll, we'll throw you some questions and not give you time to answer them For, firstly you know what are the five learnings about india you've shared a few already but if you have to jot down five of them through the lenses of la liga boss five learnings i mean the first one when i is that uh the first advice i was giving when i was coming to india from a friend who, who, who conducts businesses uh, down in Tamil Nadu, say, hey, listen, in India, you have to be patient. <laughs> okay. And um, I, I say, yes. But I, what I learned is mm-hmm. that you have to be patient, but you Indians are incredibly impatient. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, that's number one. Uh, mm-hmm. the, and and this, I think this is India. No, the, contra- the, the absolute contrast. You have to be patient, but you are impatient. And this yeah. is something that you constantly find in India, you know, the, the incredible, uh, amazing contrast. That could be number one. Number two, how passionate Indian fans are. Okay. Uh, number three, uh, I mean, I said it before, the complexity of the country. I okay. mean, there's no one in India. There's uh, many uh, Indians, no? Yeah. Um, number four, how India is... You are taking so seriously the development of your football, no? And uh, as as a part of it, how uh, we uh, football is developing uh, a really bunch of devoted fans. They can love cricket as well, but they are mm-hmm. really into football. And um, fifth, I will talk about the Indian people. No, is uh, how welcoming you are. I mean, it's uh, for me. All these years is uh, been enjoying uh, a joy to be around. I have developed really great friendship with Indian friends that I think they'll they'll remain the day I, I leave the country. Great, fantastic, fantastic. Thanks a lot. You know, what is the one thing about digital? You mentioned digital is very important to La Liga and you to India. Uh, what is the one thing about digital you wish you could control? If I were... Um, the world possibility that, that you can, can make me the dictator of digital, I mean, I will be ruthless with trolls. Great. Uh, you know, uh, uh, with, with digital revolution globally and especially in India, do you agree television is no longer the primary screen even for live sports? Mm, I neither agree nor disagree. I, I think, I believe we are in a transition period, you no? Know? And uh, obviously, linear TV only. Is over, is over, and uh, the best example is the last tender of IPL rights. Yeah. So, uh, if you ask me six years ago, uh, you ask me what's an OTT, I would say what you're talking about. No, mm-hmm. and now OTT is here. It's an absolute key part of the market. No, it's just again going to IPL. Look uh, what's going on uh, with uh, our partner Viacom 18 developing these new geo cinema platform as their key uh, yeah. window to the market. If you go to La Liga in Spain, basically in the last tender of domestic rights, uh, all our rights were with uh, Movistar, which is with your typical satellite uh, broadcaster. Now yeah. they are divided between uh, the same Movistar and the song, which is a pure uh, OTT operation. So oh. it's here to stay. And let's not forget, this applies mm-hmm. mostly to what's the traditional programming. But what we, what we talked before, now our fans are consuming a very different way. Yes, they keep consuming the, the live broadcasts. They keep consuming mm-hmm. highlights and so, but they demand a lot of more constant uh, 
um, I mean, uh, contents, no small videos, con uh, digital contests. I mean, a lot of things that you cannot forget. I mean, the old way of uh, you are a broadcaster here, are my matches, just put it on TV, is not enough. It's no longer enough. Great, great. Last one in this stoppage time round. Uh... Ronaldo and Messi leaving La Liga slowed down the progress in India. Do you agree? Um, no. Okay. Okay. Great. I mean, it was fantastic not to agree that I thought you would, when I said that I'll give you one thing to control, and you would say that okay, Ronaldo and Messi will keep playing for for La Liga. Uh, uh, listen, uh, when I was a boy, for me the the best player in history was Maradona. Because Pele, I haven't seen him play. Yes, I, I remember just being a little boy, a little boy seeing Pele uh, mm -hmm. retirement match uh, between uh, New York Cosmos and Santos at the Giant Stadium. But that's yeah. that's not to see Pele. So for me, it was Maradona. If you talk to my son, Maradona mm -hmm. is like a legend of the past. So probably for him will be uh, in his case, he's uh, a Leo Messi uh, fan. Although he's Atletico fan as a player, he he says Messi. Next generation will have a new idol no so uh, and that's the nature of football right. Pelé is gone maradona is gone messi is uh, approaching his last world cup so uh let's talk about the future no uh, let's talk about ansu fati let's talk about uh vinicius let's talk about maybe joao Felix, maybe Haaland. um those are the pedri yeah, don't forget uh, uh, this is the nature of, fo of football. Remember always these players right. come and go, competitions Absolutely. and clubs stay, and national teams, of course. Fantastic. Fantastic. My last question to you, uh, you know, Jose, today. Uh, we all talk about tipping point. What is the tipping point for you when it comes to La Liga in India that you are looking for? Uh, I, I don't. I don't. I, I think this is a never-ending work in progress. Okay. I mean, I'll put you one example, no? I've been like 20 years, 20-something 20 years in the industry, no? So right. I started working with the Spain national team, developing their... Uh, one of my jobs with the rest of, of the team back then was mm -hmm. to totally reshape um, the sponsorship program of the Spain national team. I'm right. talking right before uh, the Euro 2008. So this is 15 years ago. Hmm. Well, digital was not even a concept, didn't exist. Okay. What I told before, six years ago, you asked me what's an OTT, I will need to go to uh, to Wikipedia, no? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm honest with, with this, no? Uh, so we need to uh, learn every single day of, 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 of our uh, work uh, lives, no? So today, okay. If of two of the three Indian sponsors we got, if you ask me about Dream 11 or Hero yeah. Wild, they don't have uh, much assets. Basically, all the assets they have, with, they have with us, other than brand assets, are digital assets. So right. 15 years ago, what a sponsor demands has nothing to do with what a sponsor demanded 15 years back. And 15 years is nothing. It's, it's yeah. nothing in our lives, no? So... Uh, we need to keep learning, so there's no tipping point, and, and we need to adjust uh, every day, every year. No, is uh, now we are going as we said before. We are going for the broadcast uh, years to the broadcast broadcaster plus uh, OTT or OTT alone. Um, don't know <laughs> yet. So uh, uh, right. yeah, we are students. <laughs> we are, it's like we never leave college. No, it's uh, but the college now is what we uh, learn every day. Uh, through our job. Correct. Correct. Thank you. Thank you very much also for your time today. It was indeed a pleasure having you to the show. Okay. Thank you. It was fun.